The Kingdom of Sardinia was a state in southern Europe which existed from the early 14th until the mid-19th century. It was the predecessor state of the Kingdom of Italy, when it was acquired by the Duke of Savoy in 1720, it was a former Iberian state with weak institutions. However, the Savoyards united it with their possessions on the Italian mainland and, by the time of the Crimean War in 1853, had built the resulting kingdom into a strong power. The composite state under the rule of Savoy in this period may be called Savoy Sardinia or Piedmont Sardinia, or even the Kingdom of Piedmont to emphasize that the island of Sardinia was of secondary importance to the monarchy. The formal name of the entire Savoyard state was the States of His Majesty the King of Sardinia. Its final capital was Turin, the capital of Savoy since the Middle Ages. The kingdom initially consisted of the islands of Corsica and Sardinia, sovereignty over both of which was claimed by the papacy, which granted them as a fief, the Regnum Sardiniae et Corsicae Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica, to King James II of Aragon in 1297. Beginning in 1324, James and his successors conquered the island of Sardinia and established de facto their de jure authority. In 1420, after the Sardinian-Catalan War, the last competing claim to the island was bought out. After the union of the crowns of Aragon and Castile, Sardinia became a part of the burgeoning Spanish Empire. In 1720 it was ceded by the Habsburg and Bourbon claimants to the Spanish throne to Duke Victor Amadeus II of Savoy. The Kingdom of Sardinia came to be progressively identified with the states ruled by the main branch of the House of Savoy, which included, besides Savoy and Aosta, dynastic possessions since the 11th century, the Principality of Piedmont a possession built up in the 13th century, and the County of Nice a possession since 1388. While in theory the traditional capital of the island of Sardinia and seat of its viceroys was Colliery, the Piedmontese city of Turin was the de facto capital of Savoy. When the mainland domains of the House of Savoy were occupied and eventually annexed by Napoleonic France, the King of Sardinia made his permanent residence on the island for the first time in its history. The Congress of Vienna 1814 which restructured Europe after Napoleon's defeat, returned to Savoy its mainland possessions and augmented them with Liguria, taken from the Republic of Genoa. In 1847-48, in a perfect fusion, the various Savoyard states were unified under one legal system, with the capital in Turin, and granted a constitution, the Statuto Albertino. There followed the annexation of Lombardy 1859, the Central Italian States and the Two Sicilies 1860, Venetia 1866, and the Papal States 1870. On 17 March 1861, to more accurately reflect its new geographic extent, the Kingdom of Sardinia changed its name to the Kingdom of Italy, and its capital was eventually moved first to Florence and then to Rome. <laughs> Early history In 238 BC Sardinia became, along with Corsica, a province of the Roman Empire. The Romans ruled the island until the middle of the 5th century, when it was occupied by the Vandals, who had also settled in North Africa. In 534 AD it was reconquered by the Romans, but now from the Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantium. It remained a Byzantine province until the Arab conquest of Sicily in the 9th century. After that, communications with Constantinople became very difficult, and powerful families of the island assumed control of the land. Facing Arab attempts to sack and conquer, while having almost no outside help, Sardinia utilized the principle of translatio imperi transfer of rule, and continued to organize itself along the ancient Roman and Byzantine model. The island was not the personal property of the ruler and of his family, as was then the dominant practice in Western Europe, but rather a separate entity and during the Byzantine Empire, a monarchical republic, as it had been since Roman times. Starting from 705 to 706, Saracens from North Africa recently conquered by Arab armies harassed the population of the coastal cities. Information about the Sardinian political situation in the following centuries is scarce. Due to Saracen attacks, in the 9th century Theros was abandoned in favor of Aristano. After more than 1,800 years of occupation, Corrales, Porto Torres and numerous other coastal centers suffered the same fate. There is a record of another massive Saracen sea attack in 1015-16 from the Balearics, commanded by Mujahid al-Amiri Latinized as Mustu. 
The Saracen attempt to invade the island was stopped by the Judicatus with the support of the fleets of the maritime republics of Pisa and Genoa, free cities of the Holy Roman Empire. Pope Benedict VIII also requested aid from the maritime republics of Pisa and Genoa in the struggle against the Arabs. After the Great Schism, Rome made many efforts to restore Latinity to the Sardinian Church, politics, and society, and to finally reunify the island under one Catholic ruler, as it had been for all of southern Italy, when the Byzantines had been driven away by Catholic Normans. Even the title of Judices was a Byzantine reminder of the Greek church and state. In times of harsh relations between Eastern and Western churches, Massacre of the Latins, 1182, Siege of Constantinople, 1204, Recapture of Constantinople, 1261. Before the Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica, the Archons Archantes or, in Latin, Judices, who reigned in the island from the 9th or 10th century until the beginning of the 11th century, can be considered as real kings of all Sardinia Kyrie both u do lu su t our cotoriu harchantos Sardinias kai tes do lesu get it, even though nominal vassals of the Byzantine emperors. Of these sovereigns only two names are known, Turkotaru and Seleusiu T. Our Kotoriu Basiliko Protospatheriu Kai Seleusiu Tun Eugene Station Archonnen, who probably ruled in the 10th century. The Archons still wrote in Greek or Latin, but one of the oldest documents left of the Judgedom of Colliery the so-called Carta Volgar, issued by Torchatorio I de Lacan Gunnale in 1070, was already written in the Romance Sardinian language, albeit with the Greek alphabet. The realm was divided into four small kingdoms, the Judicati, perfectly organized as was the previous realm, but was now under the influence of the Pope and the Holy Roman Empire. That was the cause of conflicts leading to a long war between the Judices, who regarded themselves as kings fighting against rebellious nobles. The Judicati came to an end in 1410, when the new kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica defeated the Arborea Judicatus in a battle in San Lori and its sovereign rights were sold by the last Judex. Later, the title of King of Sardinia was granted by the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire to Barazone II of Arborea and Enzio of Sardinia. The first could not reunify the island under his rule, despite years of war against the other Sardinian judices, and he finally concluded a peace treaty with them in 1172. The second did not have the opportunity. Invested with the title from his father, Emperor Frederick II in 1239, he was soon recalled by his parent and appointed imperial vicar for Italy. He died in 1272 without direct recognized heirs after a detention of 23 years in a prison in Bologna. The Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica later, just the Kingdom of Sardinia from 1460 was a state whose king was the King of Aragon, who started to conquer it in 1324, gained full control in 1410, and directly ruled it until 1460. In that year it was incorporated into a sort of confederation of states, each with its own institutions, called the Crown of Aragon, and united only in the person of the king. The Crown of Aragon was made by a council of representatives of the various states and grew in importance for the main purpose of separating the legacy of Ferdinand II of Aragon from that of Isabella I of Castile when they married in 1469. The idea of the kingdom was created in 1297 by Pope Boniface VIII, as a hypothetical entity created for James II of Aragon under a secret clause in the Treaty of Anagni. This was an inducement to join in the effort to restore Sicily, then under the rule of James's brother Frederick III of Sicily, to the Angevin dynasty over the oppositions of the Sicilians. The two islands proposed for this new kingdom were occupied by other states and fiefs at the time. In Sardinia, three of the four states that had succeeded Byzantine imperial rule in the 9th century had passed through marriage and partition under the direct or indirect control of Pisa and Genoa in the 40 years preceding the Anagni Treaty. Genoa had also ruled Corsica since conquering the island nearly two centuries before c. 1133. There were other reasons beside this papal decision, it was the final successful result of the long fight against the Ghibelline city of Pisa and the Holy Roman Empire itself. Furthermore, Sardinia was then under the control of the very Catholic kings of Aragon, and the last result of rapprochement of the island to Rome. The Sardinian Church had never been under the control of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople, it was an autonomous province loyal to Rome and belonging to the Latin Church, but during the Byzantine period became influenced by Byzantine liturgy and culture. <laughs> Foundation of the Kingdom of Sardinia 
In 1297, Pope Boniface VIII, intervening between the houses of Anjou and Aragon, established on paper a regnum sardiniae et corsicae that would be a fief of the papacy. Then, ignoring the indigenous states which already existed, the Pope offered his newly invented fief to James II of Aragon, promising him papal support should he wish to conquer Pisan Sardinia in exchange for Sicily. In 1323 James II formed an alliance with Hugh II of Arborea and, following a military campaign which lasted a year or so, occupied the Pisan territories of Colliery and Galora along with the city of Cesari, claiming the territory as the Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica. In 1353 Arborea waged war on Aragon. The crown of Aragon did not reduce the last of the Judicati indigenous kingdoms of Sardinia until 1420. The Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica retained its separate character as part of the Crown of Aragon and was not merely incorporated into the Kingdom of Aragon. At the time of his struggles with Arborea, Peter IV of Aragon granted an autonomous legislature to the kingdom and its legal traditions. The kingdom was governed in the king's name by a viceroy. In 1420, Alfonso V of Aragon, king of Sicily and heir to Aragon, bought the remaining territories for 100,000 gold florins of the Judicato of Arborea in the 1420 from the last judice William III of Narbonne and the «Kingdom of Sardinia» extended throughout the island, except for the city of Castelsardo at that time called Casteldoria or Casteljenovese that was stolen from the Doria in 1448, and renamed Castillo Aragonese Aragonese Castle. Corsica, which had never been conquered, was dropped from the formal title and Sardinia passed with the crown of Aragon to a united Spain. The defeat of the local kingdoms, communes and seigneury, the firm Aragonese later Spanish rule, the introduction of a sterile feudalism, as well as the discovery of the Americas, provoked an unstoppable decline of the kingdom of Sardinia. A short period of uprisings occurred under the local noble Leonardo Alagon, Marquis of Aristano, who defended his territories against the viceroy Niccolò Caraz and managed to defeat the viceroy's army in the 1470s, but was later crushed at the Battle of Macomer in 1478, ending any further revolts in the island. The unceasing attacks from North African pirates and a series of plagues in 1582, 1652 and 1655 further worsened the situation. Aragonese conquest of Sardinia Although the «Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica» could be said to have started as a questionable and extraordinary de jure state in 1297, its de facto existence began in 1324 when, called by their allies of the Judicato di Arborea in the course of war with the Republic of Pisa, James II seized the Pisan territories in the former states of Colliery and Galora and asserted his papally approved title. In 1347 CE Aragon made war on landlords of the Doria House and the Malaspina House, who were citizens of the Republic of Genoa, which controlled most of the lands of the former Logudoro state in northwestern Sardinia, including the city of Alghero and the semi-autonomous Republic of Sassari, and added them to its direct domains. The Judicato of Arborea, the only Sardinian state that remained independent of foreign domination, proved far more difficult to subdue. Threatened by the Aragonese claims of suzerainty and consolidation of the rest of the island, in 1353 Arborea, under the leadership of Marianus IV, started the conquest of the remaining Sardinian territories, which formed the Kingdom of Sardinia. In 1368 an Arborean offensive succeeded in nearly driving the Aragonese from the island, reducing the «Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica» to just the port cities of Colliery and Alghero and incorporating everything else into their own kingdom. A peace treaty returned the Aragonese their previous possessions in 1388, but tensions continued and 1382 CE the Arborean army led by Brancilione Doria again swept the most of the island into Arborean rule. This situation lasted until 1409 when the army of the Judicato of Arborea suffered a heavy defeat by the Aragonese army in the Battle of San Lori. After the sale of the remaining territories for 100,000 gold florins to the Judicato of Arborea in 1420, the Kingdom of Sardinia extended throughout the island except for the city of Castelsardo at that time called Casteldoria or Casteljenovese which had been stolen from the Doria in 1448 The subduing of Sardinia having taken a century Corsica which had never been wrestled from the Genoese was dropped from the formal title of the kingdom Topic Early history of Savoy 
During the 3rd century BC, the Allobroges settled down in the region between the Rhone and the Alps. This region, named Allobrigia and later, Sapadia, in Latin, was integrated to the Roman Empire. In the 4th century, the region of Savoy was ceded by the Western Roman Empire to the Burgundians and became part of the Kingdom of Burgundy. Piedmont was inhabited in early historic times by Celto-Ligurian tribes such as the Taurini and the Selassie. They later submitted to the Romans c. 220 BC, who founded several colonies there including Augusta Taurinorum Turin and Iparadia Ivry. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the region was repeatedly invaded by the Burgundians, the Goths 5th century, Byzantines, Lombards 6th century, and the Franks 773. At the time Piedmont, as part of the Kingdom of Italy within the Holy Roman Empire, was subdivided into several marks and counties. In 1046, Otto of Savoy added Piedmont to their main segment of Savoy, with a capital at Chambéry now in France. Other areas remained independent, such as the powerful communes of Osti and Alessandria, and the Marquisates of Saluzzo and Montferrat. The county of Savoy was elevated to a duchy in 1416, and Duke Emanuele Filiberto moved the seat to Turin in 1563. <laughs> <laughs> Exchange of Sardinia for Sicily The Spanish domination of Sardinia ended at the beginning of the 18th century, as a result of the War of the Spanish Succession. By the Treaty of Utrecht of 1713, Spain's European Empire was divided, Savoy received Sicily and parts of the Duchy of Milan, while Charles VI the Holy Roman Emperor and Archduke of Austria, received the Spanish Netherlands, the Kingdom of Naples, Sardinia, and the bulk of the Duchy of Milan. During the War of the Quadruple Alliance, Victor Amadeus II, Duke of Savoy and Prince of Piedmont, had to agree to yield Sicily to the Austrian Habsburgs and receive Sardinia in exchange. The exchange was formally ratified in the Treaty of The Hague of 17 February 1720. Because the Kingdom of Sardinia had existed since the 14th century, the exchange allowed Victor Amadeus to retain the title of king in spite of the loss of Sicily. Victor Amadeus initially resisted the exchange, and until 1723 continued to style himself King of Sicily rather than King of Sardinia. The state took the official title of Kingdom of Sardinia, Cyprus and Jerusalem, as the House of Savoy still claimed the thrones of Cyprus and Jerusalem, although both had long been under Ottoman rule. In 1767–1769, Charles Emmanuel III annexed the Maddalena Archipelago in the Strait of Bonifacio from the Republic of Genoa and claimed it as part of Corsica. Since then the archipelago has been a part of the Sardinian region. <laughs> Napoleonic Wars and the Congress of Vienna In 1792, the Kingdom of Sardinia and the other states of the Savoy Crown joined the First Coalition against the French First Republic, but was beaten in 1796 by Napoleon and forced to conclude the disadvantageous Treaty of Paris 1796, giving the French army free passage through Piedmont. On 6 December 1798 Joubert occupied Turin and forced Charles Emmanuel IV to abdicate and leave for the island of Sardinia. The provisionary government voted to unite Piedmont with France. In 1799 the Austro-Russians briefly occupied the city, but with the Battle of Marengo 1800, the French regained control. The island of Sardinia stayed out of the reach of the French for the rest of the war. In 1814, the Crown of Savoy enlarged its territories with the addition of the former Republic of Genoa, now a duchy, and it served as a buffer state against France. This was confirmed by the Congress of Vienna, which added the region of Savoy to its borders. In the reaction after Napoleon, the country was ruled by conservative monarchs, Victor Emmanuel I Charles Felix and Charles Albert who fought at the head of a contingent of his own troops at the Battle of Trocadero, which set the reactionary Ferdinand VII on the Spanish throne. Victor Emmanuel I disbanded the entire Code Napoleon and returned the lands and power to the nobility and the church. This reactionary policy went as far as discouraging the use of roads built by the French. These changes typified Sardinia. The Kingdom of Sardinia industrialized from 1830 onward. A constitution, the Statuto Albertino, was enacted in the year of revolutions, 1848 under liberal pressure. 
The kingdom that until that moment was strictly confined to the island, annexed all the other states of the Savoy House, but its institutions were deeply transformed, it became a constitutional and very centralized monarchy on the French model, under the same pressure Charles Albert declared war on Austria. After initial success the war took a turn for the worse and Charles Albert was defeated by Marshal Radetzky at the Battle of Kustaza Italian unification Like all the various duchies and city-states on the Apennine Peninsula and associated islands, the Kingdom of Sardinia was troubled with political instability under alternating governments. After a short and disastrous renewal of the war with Austria in 1849, Charles Albert abdicated on 23 March 1849 in favour of his son Victor Emmanuel II. In 1852, a liberal ministry under Count Camillo Benso di Cavour was installed and the Kingdom of Sardinia became the engine driving Italian unification. The Kingdom of Sardinia took part in the Crimean War, allied with the Ottoman Empire, Britain, and France, and fighting against Russia. In 1859, France sided with the Kingdom of Sardinia in a war against Austria, the Austro-Sardinian War. Napoleon III did not keep his promises to Cavour to fight until all of the Kingdom of Lombardy Venetia had been conquered. Following the bloody battles of Magenta and Solferina, both French victories, Napoleon thought the war too costly to continue and made a separate peace behind Cavour's back in which only Lombardy would be ceded. Due to the Austrian government's refusal to cede any lands to the Kingdom of Sardinia, they agreed to cede Lombardy to Napoleon, who in turn then ceded the territory to the Kingdom of Sardinia to avoid embarrassing the defeated Austrians. Cavour angrily resigned from office when it became clear that Victor Emmanuel would accept this arrangement. <laughs> Garibaldi in the Thousand On 5 March 1860, Parma, Tuscany, Modena, and Romagna voted in referenda to join the Kingdom of Sardinia. This alarmed Napoleon, who feared a strong Savoyard state on his southeastern border and he insisted that if the Kingdom of Sardinia were to keep the new acquisitions they would have to cede Savoy and Nice to France. This was done after referenda showed over 99.5% majorities in both areas in favour of joining France. In 1860, Giuseppe Garibaldi started his campaign to conquer the southern Apennines in the name of the Kingdom of Sardinia. He quickly toppled the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, which was the largest of the states in the region, stretching from Abruzzo and Naples on the mainland to Messina and Palermo on Sicily. He then marched to Gita in the central peninsula. Cavour was satisfied with the unification, while Garibaldi, who was too revolutionary for the king and his prime minister, wanted to conquer Rome as well. Garibaldi was disappointed in this development, as well as in the loss of his home province, Nice, to France. He also failed to fulfill the promises that had gained him popular and military support by the Sicilians, that the new nation would be a republic, not a kingdom, and that the Sicilians would see great economic gains after unification. The former did not come to pass until 1946. Topic. Towards the Kingdom of Italy On 17 March 1861, Law No. 4671 of the Sardinian Parliament proclaimed the Kingdom of Italy, so ratifying the annexations of all other Apennine states, plus Sicily, to the Kingdom of Sardinia. The institutions and laws of the Kingdom were quickly extended to all of Italy, abolishing the administrations of the other regions. Piedmont became the most dominant and wealthiest region in Italy and the capital of Piedmont, Turin, remained the Italian capital until 1865, when the capital was moved to Florence. But many revolts exploded throughout the peninsula, especially in southern Italy, and on the island of Sicily, because of the perceived unfair treatment of the south by the Piedmontese ruling class. The House of Savoy ruled Italy until 1946 when Italy was declared a republic by referendum. In this referendum the southern regions, including Sardinia, voted overwhelmingly in favour of the House of Savoy, with the results being 63.8% in favour of maintaining the monarchy. Currency The currency in use in Savoy was the Piedmontese Scudo. During the Napoleonic era, it was replaced in general circulation by the French franc. 
In 1816, after regaining their mainland domains, the scudo was replaced by the Sardinian lira, which in 1821 also replaced the Sardinian scudo, the coins that had been in use on the island throughout the period. Topic: <laughs> Flags, royal standards and coats of arms. When the Duchy of Savoy acquired the Kingdom of Sicily in 1713 and the Kingdom of Sardinia in 1723, the flag of Savoy became the flag of a naval power. This posed the problem that the same flag was already in use by the Knights of Malta. Because of this, the Savoyards modified their flag for use as a naval ensign in various ways, adding the letters furred in the four cantons, or adding a blue border, or using a blue flag with the Savoy cross in one canton. Eventually, King Charles Albert adopted the «revolutionary» Italian tricolor, surmounted by the Savoyard shield, as his flag. This flag became the flag of the Kingdom of Italy, and the tricolor without the Savoyard escutcheon remains the flag of Italy. Maps Territorial evolution of the Kingdom of Sardinia from 1324 to 1720 Topic. Territorial evolution of the Apennine region from 1796 to 1860 Topic. See also List of monarchs of Sardinia List of viceroys of Sardinia Spanish Empire Sahimu Sardu Nationale Topic Notes and References Topic Footnotes Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Murtaugh, Frank M. 1991. Cavour and the Economic Modernization of the Kingdom of Sardinia. New York, Garland Publishing Inc. ISBN 9780815306376. Herder, Harry Italy in the Age of the Risorgimento, 1790–1870. London, Longman. ISBN 0 582 49146 0. Lutwak Edward, The Grand Strategy of the Byzantine Empire, The Belknap Press, 2009, ISBN 9780674035195. Martin, George Whitney. The Red Shirt and the Cross of Savoy. New York, Dodd, Mead and Co. ISBN 0 396 05908 2. Storrs, Christopher. 1999. War, Diplomacy and the Rise of Savoy, 1690 1720. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0 521 55146 3. Smith, Dennis Mack. Victor Emmanuel, Cavour and the Risorgimento. Oxford University Press, 1971. Thayer, William Roscoe 1911. The Life and Times of Cavour Vol. 1, Old Interpretations but Useful on Details, Vol. 1 goes to 1859, Vol. 2 online covers 1859-62. In Italian AAVV, A Cura di F. Manconi, La Societa Sarda in Ada Spagnola, Colliery, Consiglio Regionale della Sardegna, 2 Vol, 1992 3. Blasco Ferrer Eduardo, Crestomazia Sarda dei Primi Secoli, Colana Officina Linguistica, Aliso, Nuoro, 2003, ISBN 9788887825657. Boscolo Alberto, La Sardegna Byzantina e Alto Judicial, Edizioni della Torricagliari 1978 Casula Francesco Cesare, La Storia di Sardegna, Carlo Delfino Editor, Cesari, 1994, ISBN 8871380843 Coroneo Roberto, Arte in Sardegna dal IV alla meta del Cicolo, Edizioni AV, Colliery, 2011 
Coroneo Roberto, Scultura Medio Byzantina in Sardegna, Nuoro, Poliedro, 2000. De Saint Severin Charles, Souvenirs d'un séjour en Sardaigne pendant les années 1821 et 1822, Aene Editor, Lyon, 1827. Ferrer i Malol Maria Teresa, La guerra d'Arburia à la fine del XIV secolo, from Archivo de la Corona d'Aragon. Collection de documentos inéditos. XLVIII. Gallinari Luciano, Il giudicato di Cagliari tra 11 e 13 secolo. Proposte di interpretazione istituzionale, in Revista dell'Istituto di Storia dell'Europa Mediterranea, N. Degree 5, 2010. Manconi Francesco, La Sardegna al Tempo degli Asburgo, Il Maestrale, Nuoro, 2010, ISBN 9788864290102 Manconi Francesco, Una piccola provincia di un grande impero, CUEC, Colliery, 2012, ISBN 8884677882 Mastino Attilio, Storia della Sardegna Antica, Il Maestrale, Nuoro, 2005, ISBN 9788889801635 Maloni Piro, La Sardegna Romana, Chiarella, Cesari, 1980 Mazzo Baccizio Raimondo, Studi Sue Byzantini in Sardegna e Sulagiografia Sarda, Deputazioni di Storia Patria della Sardegna, Colliery, 1987 Ortu Gian Giacomo, La Sardegna dei Giudici, Il Maestrale, Nuoro, 2005, ISBN 9788889801024 Paulus Giulio, Lingua e cultura nella Sardegna Byzantina, Testimonians linguistici dell'influsso greco, Cesari, Lafodello, 1983 Spanu Luigi, Cagliari nel Seicento, Edizioni Castello, Cagliari, 1999 Spanu Pier Giorgio, Dalla Sardegna Byzantina alla Sardegna Giudicelle, in Orientis Radiata Fulgor, La Sardegna nel Contesto Storico e Cultural Byzantino, Adi del Convegno di Studi, 30 Novembre 1 Dicembre 2007, Nuove Grafiche Pudu Editor, Ortuchesis, 2008 Tola Pasquale, Codex Diplomaticus Sardinie Vol. 1 et 2, Historiae Patriae Monumenta, Typographia Regia, Torino, 1861 Vain Paul, L'Empire Greco Roman, Editor Soy, 2005, ISBN 9782020577984. Zeta Corrado, Pina Raimondo, La Nascita dei Giudicati. Proposta per lo Siaglimento di un Enigma Storiografico, in Archivio Storico Giuridico di Cesari, Seconda Siri, N. Degree 12, 2007. Zarita Geronimo, Los Cinco Libros Postreros de la Segunda Parte de los Anales de la Corona d'Aragon, Oficino de Domingo de Portoneras y Ursono, Zaragoza, 1629.